Hey friends, this is Vidhan. Welcome you to my channel. Today we will see a problem from electronics, December 2011, part B. In the operational amplifier circuit below, the voltage at point A is. What is the voltage at point A? It is a straightforward question. Now let me ask you what circuit it is. Here it said it is operational amplifier circuit. Which one, inverter or non-inverter? Let me tell you that it is neither inverter nor non-inverter circuit. It is actually a differential amplifier circuit. Basically there are three amplifier circuits, inverter, non-inverter and differential. And this is differential amplifier. And how did I recognize it? By looking at two input signals. Two input signal is possible for differential amplifier. In case of inverter, we know there is a single input voltage to negative terminal and positive terminal was grounded. And we also remember for non-inverter case, there is also a single voltage supply to the positive terminal and negative was grounded. But here we see two input voltages to both the input terminals. And this is possible for operational amplifier. Sorry, differential operational amplifier circuit. So it is differential operational amplifier circuit. But for solving this problem, we do not need to have prior knowledge of differential amplifier because this problem is not about the output of the circuit. If this would be a output of the circuit, then we should know what is the standard output formula for differential amplifier. But this question is just what is the voltage at this point? That means this problem is independent of whatever circuit it is. It doesn't matter whatever circuit it is, but this problem we can solve because it's the it's not the problem of output. It is what is the voltage at this point. Now let me tell you one thing that the voltage at point A, what is the voltage at point A? Since it is open loop condition, that means there is no feedback circuit. So the voltage at point A is same as the voltage given. So it is also one volt. And this is the trick that we had discussed in our last two consecutive videos that whenever it is open loop condition, that means there is no feedback circuit going from output to input, then the voltage that we provide is equal to the voltage at the terminal. So it is also one volt. So the answer is A, one volt. So our answer is A. But we are going to discuss in detail for our problem. We are saying that if one volt, the trick is since it is open loop operational amplifier, it is also one volt. And what does it mean? It means that across this register, there is no voltage drop. Actually, there is a voltage drop across this register, but this voltage drop is negligible. And that is why we say that whatever voltage we give here, is the voltage here that means if I give one volt this one volt will remain one volt at this point also and why there is no voltage drop or very negligible voltage drop at across this register the reason is that that this register along with the huge input resistance and this register making a voltage divider circuit and they are closed also you can see that this is always grounded so this terminal and this terminal are same are connected so this is a voltage divider circuit because the registers are in series if i draw it then one k 1 amp this is mega ohm kilo ohm then it's like this so this is the circuit we can say that we have 1 volt supply this is a voltage divider circuit because the registers are in series and this 1 volt will finally be dropped across this 
circuit across all those resistors but combinedly what I am saying is that at this point the voltage is 1 volt that we have provided and finally at this point at, at all these points the voltage will become 0 volt and this is the rule for voltage divider circuit whatever the voltage you provided provide initially will finally be dropped and it will be dropped completely it will drop to zero finally across all the registers that means there will be a voltage drop across this register there will be a voltage drop across this register and there will be a voltage drop across this register and all the voltage drops will together make one volt that means total voltage drop finally will become of one volt and that means finally the voltage will be zero volt now from the voltage divider formula standard standard voltage divider formula the voltage drop across this register voltage drop across one mega ohm is emf that means the voltage we apply into the resistance of this 10 to the power 6 by equivalent resistance that means 10 to the power 3 10 to the power 6 and 10 to the power 3 10 to the power 3 plus 10 to the power 3 plus 10 to the power 6 so it is equal to 10 to the power 6 by let us take 10 to the power 3 is common 1 plus 1 plus 10 to the power 3 it's 10 to the power 3 10 to the power 3 by 2 plus 10 to the power 3 it's okay so it is 1000 by 1002 and I have calculated this value this is 0 0.99800 volt 0 0.99800 volt so the voltage drop across this register is 0 0.99800 volt and what is this this is equivalent to 1 not exactly 1 but equivalent to 1 that means we know that all these three registers will combinedly drop the complete voltage of 1 volt and finally will make it 0 volt but it seems that this single register alone seems to be dropping almost all of the voltage that we have provided that means this register and this register will drop very little amount and this is happening because this resistance is of very high value and this and these registers are of low resistance value let us find what is the voltage drop across this register the voltage drop across 1k ohm is equal to emf into the resistance 10 to the power 3 by equivalent resistance that means 10 to the power 3 plus 10 to the power 3 plus 10 to the power 6 10 to the power 3 by if we take common 1 plus 1 plus 10 to the power 3 so it is 1 by 1 plus 1 that means 2 plus 10 to the power 3 that means 1 by 1002 1002 and this is this is point I have already calculated this value this is point zero 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 nine nine volt so you can see that across this register the voltage drop is only point nine sorry point zero 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 nine nine volt and this is also 1k so across this also the voltage drop is point zero 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 nine nine volt now if you add all these voltage drops across this voltage drops across this this much and point zero zero nine this much all three voltage drops if you add you will find one that means one volt has been completely dropped across this circuit by all these resistances taking part in dropping 
that means what is the voltage at this point the voltage at this point if initially it was 1 volt and here it has been a drop of 0 0.00099 so the voltage at this point will be almost wh what should be the voltage the voltage should be 1 volt minus the voltage drop across this so 1 volt minus 0 0.00099 so what should be the voltage the voltage is something like uh, 0.9990 something so if you see this then we can understand that this voltage is almost same as the given initial voltage and why this is almost same this is almost equivalent to 1 volt because the voltage drop across this resistor is negligible so if i subtract this negligible amount from this voltage then this we get almost equal to this 1 volt so this is equivalent to 1 volt and this is what happening here that similar to this this 1k and this huge resistance and this is making a voltage divider circuit and the voltage drop across this is negligible so the voltage whatever here is equivalent to that this voltage is equivalent to that so we may say there is no voltage drop actually there is a voltage drop but we may say no voltage drop and at this point also 1 volt because it is similar to 1 volt and after this there is a drop and after this drop what will the value this much voltage will be left here because this much voltage will finally be dropped across this register since all the registers should take part in total voltage drop so this is it that why this is one volt and answer is a now supposing that in our problem it has not been said that it is that there is a feedback circuit but if we suppose that there is a feedback circuit not given in our problem but if we suppose that there is a feedback circuit in our problem not given in our problem but supposing that there is a feedback circuit in the problem suppose there is a feedback circuit then what is the out the what is the value of the voltage at point a what is the value now we also know the trick that whenever there is a feedback circuit then concept of virtual grounding comes into effect and what is the concept of virtual grounding the voltage at negative terminal becomes equal to whatever is the voltage at positive terminal that means we just have to find out the voltage at this point and this voltage will be the voltage at here also so in this case you can also see again that it is a voltage divider circuit two registers this and this are in series and this is connected so this is a closed surf circuit uh, voltage supply one volt and they are in series now what is the voltage drop across this register the voltage at this point we have to find we also know that initially the voltage is one volt and since it is voltage divider circuit finally the voltage will become zero volt but actually what is the voltage drop across this doesn't matter we have to find the voltage at this that means we have to find voltage drop here and we have to subtract this voltage drop from one volt so what is the voltage drop voltage drop across 1k is equal to across this 1k is equal to emf that means one volt into the resistance 10 to the power 3 by equivalent resistance that means 10 to the power 3 plus 10 to the power 3 and this is 10 to the power 3 by let us take 10 to the power 3 as common so 1 plus 1 it is 1 by 2 0.5 volt that means 0.5 volt has dropped across this register and then obviously 0.5 volt will drop across this register and this 0 0.5 0 0.5 if you add it will become 1 so the total of 1 volt drop and it becomes 0 so if 0.5 volt has dropped here then what is the voltage left here the voltage at this point is 1 minus 0.5 so it is also 0.5 obviously and this 0.5 will drop across this so at this point 0.5 volt and if you give this this terminal at this point also it is 0.5 volt and since it is feedback circuit so the voltage at this point is equal to this so at this point also 0.5 volt so if 
this is a feedback circuit of if this would have been a feedback circuit then the voltage at point a would have been 0.5 volt but since in our problem it is just the normal circuit and no it is open loop circuit no feedback so the voltage at point a is 1 volt and this is our answer and the answer is a so the answer is a but let me tell you something about this that there is a book on csi net and also there is a solution from csi uh, a solution from a site i have seen for this specific problem the answer has been given 0.5 volt but actually the answer is 1 volt if this would have been a feedback circuit in the problem there would have been a feedback circuit then the answer would have been 0.5 volt but i have also seen the solution for of a, the answer key of 11 uh, 2011 december and i have seen the answer is 1 volt and there there is also a question bank that i have and that also contains the answer to be 1 volt so it is the 1 volt answer you don't have to be confused about that thank you